Right, we've got a bit of a sticky situation. In fact, in the words of Blackadder, it's as sticky as when Sticky the Stick Insect got stuck on a sticky bun. So, for the past two years, I've been doing a monthly drone visit to a uh, 19th century warehouse that's falling down. Now, because it's falling down, I have to send my drones in to photograph it all so that surveyors can keep an eye on it while they work out what's, what they're going to do with the place. Now, drones are pretty smart. They know where they are. They use GPS and downward facing sensors to pick up textures in the floor, which enable it to hold a position while I use the camera control to point my camera and photograph bits of the warehouse. For 22 months, it's worked flawlessly. However, something changed last month that's affected my drone. One of the features of this warehouse is the huge skylights in the vaulted ceilings. Uh, and a few years ago, four of them collapsed, letting the weather in, which is not ideal. Um, but they didn't do anything about it because they weren't sure whether they were going to be able to save the building or not. Well, however, the contractor has been working really hard to find a solution. And I think they must have done because now they've put four caps over the tops of these big holes. I was told about them, but I didn't think it'd be too much of a problem. However, like all good stories of sticky situations, several factors have come together to make this one really sticky. Now, remember, my drone looks up at the GPS and down at the floor to work out where it is. Now, since they've put these caps on, I can no longer get the little bit of GPS that I did under the caps and the drone can no longer see the floor textures to hold on to a position. The consequences of this is my drone starts to drift ever so slightly while I'm trying to photograph stuff. Normally, that wouldn't be a problem. I would be able to take my photograph and then take back control of the drone. But in this particular part of the warehouse where the skylights have fallen, there's lots of dangly down bits. And I have to be really careful about where I fly, so I need a rock solid position when I let go of the sticks to operate the camera. So guess what's happened? I've uh, flown into position, let go, it started to drift, hit a wire, got tangled up and fallen on the floor. Now, luckily it fell on its feet, but unfortunately the battery popped out so I couldn't take off again. So it's been sat there for the last two and a half weeks waiting for me to come and rescue it. So I'm going to go to my brother's who also lives in Leeds. I'm going to pinch one of his radio controlled cars and I'm going to attach this bad boy to it, which is a hook on a servo arm. So we can drive up to the drone, hook that on and hopefully drag it back. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right, we've got a hooky RC car thingy Bob. Now let's see if we can go and retrieve the drone. It's a very cold, very dark morning. So the first thing I'm gonna do, right across there is my drone. I'm gonna tie a piece of string to the car and I'm gonna send it across and make sure we've got no control issues. Then if we've got any control issues, I can just pull it, I can just pull it back on the string. Right, well that's a little bit worrying. It goes forward all right, but reverse is a bit temperamental. So <laughs> that's not what I want. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. What I think I'm gonna do, because I've got two controllers and two receivers on there, one to operate the car, one to operate the arm, I'm gonna switch the controllers around just in case it's a problem with the controller. Hopefully it is. There, that seems better. Let's give it another test. Next test, I'll hover the drone to make sure we've got no signal interference with the drone between the drone and the car. So I'll hover the drone, and drive the car more or less over there, and then drive it back. If that's okay, we'll go for a run. Right, that seems to work okay. My only concern is there's a lot of debris on the floor. Uh, and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough traction for the car to pull the drone back. So I've just done a video with the drone. I'm gonna have a look at the footage, see what sort of state the floor's in. Not that it's gonna make a lot of difference because I'm still gonna have a go. Uh, but we'll have a look at that and see what state the floor's in and what debris we've got to avoid. Right, the car's prepped, the drone's prepped. We've got fresh batteries. All that's left to do is go and get my drone. But I am a little bit nervous. <laughs>
Oh, Jesus. Right, let's see if we can retrieve this battery. Now, I've taken the arm off, because I think my best chance is going to be just push shunting it. Because there's not a lot to get hold of on these batteries. So, we'll give that a go. Who's the daddy? <laughs> Oh, my God. 